This one is about Apache web services and whether or not you should design your Apache around many websites in a single container or many containers with one website. Biker's back with, I have a project that wants to host six to 10, very, very lightweight, um, sorry, six to 10 very, very lightweight websites. I could make a container for each, but could also edit Apache config to multi-host out of one container. Ah, the trade-offs. All right, so this is a great question, Biker2010. What you're asking is Apache servers, because we've had Apache for decades and decades, Apache web servers have the ability to run many websites all in one daemon, right? So one Apache HTTPD could run many different websites that are unrelated. And should you do that versus many containers? So maybe one website per container or one large container image that has all the websites. Me, my preference, if I'm running containers, especially if I'm running a orchestrator like Swarm or Kubernetes is always more containers. The reason is, is that Apache, um, Apache obviously has that capability, but that, that capability was built into Apache decades ago, way before we had containers and isolation. And if I can isolate my websites into different containers, now in theory, that means we are running more Apache daemons and that's a little le less efficient if you're really focused on very small servers with very little resource utilization. So if you think about if you had 10 uh, websites and they were all running an Apache daemon in a different container, then obviously you've got a lot more executables running. That's taking more RAM and potentially a little bit of wasted resources. But if you're talking six to 10, you're not going to really gain anything. If you were saying, I need to run a thousand websites and you have full control over all of them, then I, you would have more significant resource savings by putting those all in one container as one Apache and then essentially using different Apache configs for each website, right? Now that's very, to me, that's old school. That's pre-container. I almost always would prefer isolating them in their own containers because that's easier to me. I, I usually will have one repo, right? For the code for that website. And I'm going to put that repo into one container image. And there's that one-to-one -one relationship that makes sense to me. You can also then scale those containers independently. So if one needs to have three containers running for performance reasons or redundancy, you can scale that one independently of other containers and other websites. Another reason, if you need to update a website, if you were doing the all in one container, that means now every web server has to restart just so that you can update that one container image. Whereas if each one had its own container image and its own container, then only the one that's changing would update, right? So you would break potentially less, you'd have less change overall. So anyway, that's just some of the good reasons to isolate. And um, I, yeah, I, the same reason goes for a lot of other things like MySQL, you know, Redis, stuff like that. Some people want to, you know, make everything into, put everything on one huge SQL server. And that's fine. That might make sense for you. But there are also advantages to the isolation and the potential for updating and stuff like that of breaking these things out. So I think... It's a little bit more fuzzy and not so black and white for databases because there is a lot of efficiency when you talk about memory savings and stuff, when you talk about building large SQL servers. But um, when it comes to applications like web servers, I always isolate them. Thanks for watching. You can click subscribe and the notification bell to get an alert when I go live so you can join and ask your DevOps and Docker questions. You can watch some of my other videos over there. And you can do what I'm about to do and just go take a nap. <laughs>